Okay guys, so now we're back and this is what I came up with. I managed to create 14 boards and added pins to each one of them. I'm going to show you how to add this big uh, image on the uh, on each board. You just click on edit and where you see cover, click on change. And here you can select the image that you want to use as a cover photo for that board. And that's it. You select save changes, save your board and that is it. So next I want to show you how you can add a uh, a slider at the top of your page and it's here in settings just a second guys so right on the where it says confirm website there's uh, this option that says showcase you click on edit and in here you can choose the boards that you want to showcase at the top of your your profile so let's just do that so I've selected five boards and you click on save this is gonna take a sec Once you're back on your page, you can refresh it. And here you see your slider. It showcases what you have on your profile. So there you have it. And next I'm going to show you how to pin affiliate products from Amazon onto your Pinterest account. Now let's get this party on the road, guys. Now let's say I want to pin this product onto Pinterest. All I have to do is click on it and go up just a sec and click on the text to get my affiliate link. Copy that and you select save. That's it. You save it to the board that you want. Okay. Now it usually doesn't work the first time. I don't know why. So but it works the second time. Just a second, guys. Okay. And then So there's your pin that you pin from Amazon and now we want to edit this pin. Select edit and you can change the description and you add remove this link and add your affiliate link now always make sure not to add uh, prices on your pins people don't like to repin pins that have prices on them on Pinterest it's just a habit for most people so keep in it's better that you don't add prices on your pins because it, when when you get people to click on your pin and go to a source and for Amazon affiliates you need to get the customer onto Amazon because Amazon is is famous for upselling items to customers to people so you need to get them traffic. If the person doesn't purchase this shoe, they probably will purchase something else. So it's better for you if you don't add a lot of information on your pins on Pinterest and you don't add a price. Now you'll get the customers into the door onto Amazon and you could make sales that way. So you save it and that is it. This is how you pin affiliate products from Amazon onto your Pinterest account. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys and if you have any questions you can please leave a uh, comment below and I will get back to you. I'm going to leave a all the links that I covered in this tutorial in the descriptions so you can click on them and I'm also going to leave a link for 
this account that we created if you would like to go and add add me and also if you do add me please send me a message and let me know so that I can send you some uh, an invitation to some group boards that will help get you started and uh, have people coming to your to your Pinterest account profile and next oh I almost forgot I want to show you guys how I get followers so how we get followers you just have to come in here and type your keyword just a sec now what you want to do is look for people I wanted to look for boards, not people. You want you want to find boards that okay, you know, we have this one. Going to click on that and check out the followers. So here you can then start to follow many people as you want now Pinterest has a 200 uh, following limit per every two hour you can follow 200 person every two hours so if you can manage to follow up to a thousand persons a day you will get 200 followers in return now now that we've done all the SEO and we know that our boards and our pins are going to get found in Google search and in Pinterest search we're not going to work as hard as those who haven't done research for their Pinterest boards so this is how it works guys if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask and I will reply you and see if I can help you out so thanks for watching and I hope you learned something from this tutorial and you guys are awesome